Stan Gibalisco here. I am going to show you a very simple illustration of the two parameters that comprise an azimuth elevation or AS-L coordinate system for locating points in the heavens. This uh, is a theoretically a two-dimensional system. The azimuth is also known more commonly among lay people as the compass bearing, the number of degrees clockwise from true north, true geographic north. And if an object is on the horizon, its azimuth is that angle clockwise from north. In this case, it looks to be somewhere around a hundred and a little under 140 degrees azimuth. The other coordinate is elevation and that's simply how high above the horizon in degrees is that object. So you might say you want to locate a star in the sky, this, say the star uh, Sirius or the planet Jupiter. It will have a certain azimuth and a certain elevation and those coordinates will both change as time passes because the Earth rotates under the heavens. In ham radio, the azimuth elevation or AS-L coordinate system can be used to track a satellite in the sky. Of course, both the azimuth and the elevation of a satellite as it makes a pass over your location constantly change but they change in a way that can be predicted and programmed into a computer which will turn a pair of rotators an azimuth rotator which has a 360 degree turning radius all the way around the compass and an elevation rotator which only needs to have up to 90 degrees zero degrees elevation is on the horizon 90 degrees straight up if you program those two coordinates into your computer tracking system uh, as a function of time coinciding with data that you can receive in regards to that particular satellite pass you can get a directional antenna system follow that satellite as it makes a pass over your location. Most satellites have asymmetrical orbits around the Earth, most amateur satellites. So when they are at perigee, closest to the Earth, their azimuth and elevation change quite rapidly. When they are at apogee, or their farthest point away from the Earth, such a satellite, uh, will have an azimuth and elevation bearing that change more slowly and thus is easier to track. The advantage of perigee, of course, is that the satellite is closer and the signals are therefore louder. The disadvantage, it's harder to track it and the path near perigee w will not keep it in the sky for very long, whereas near apogee, the azimuth and the elevation change quite slowly. They're easy to track. They stay in the, the satellite will stay in the sky for a longer period of time, but the signal will be weaker. Anyhow, that's what you have an, an antenna with gain for, isn't it? Generally a pair of Yagis uh, mounted with rotators having sufficient gain to reach that satellite. And that is the coordinate system most commonly used to follow satellites, amateur satellites or any other kind of satellite in the sky. Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey 1, good vibrations, saying 73 which means best regards in amateur radio jargon and so long, which via satellite or any other mode in my native language shall forevermore translate into 
Da 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 da.